Hello and welcome to another empowering episode from Signature Solar. I'm Kelly and today we're calculating solar energy, answering your questions about how going solar can be a wise and profitable investment for your home. If you're new to our channel and curious about solar technology and installations, make sure to subscribe to stay updated with all our latest insights. Before we jump into number crunching, let's first discuss the evolution of solar systems. In the past, grid tie systems were the norm. They were simpler, relying on the grid as a sort of battery while allowing homeowners to offset electricity costs and even sell back excess energy. High battery costs were not a necessary part of the equation because batteries were not needed, making grid tie systems a wise financial investment. However, these systems had a major drawback. There was no backup power during grid outages. The grid went down, the system went down. These systems still served a great purpose for their time because they not only eliminated the need to purchase batteries at their high price, but also allowed for a nice return on net metering. Net metering is a billing method that measures your excess energy production in exchange for credits to subtract from your next monthly bill. This helped to offset the cost of the initial investment turned into savings and became a way to gain a return on investment or ROI. However, we're now at a pivotal juncture with rising electricity rates and the gradual phasing out of net metering policies, the landscape is shifting. Now we're seeing a shift towards hybrid systems. These intermodal systems not only allow for solar electricity production to be utilized by the loads or stored in batteries, but also for energy to be used from the grid when needed. The flexibility to prioritize how and when to use electricity, be it from solar, battery, or the grid, makes the hybrid inverter more versatile than ever. Batteries are a crucial component in this system. This setup provides backup power during outages, becoming its own island of electricity when the grid goes down, keeping the grid safe for utility workers. With all this, it still has the grid export capabilities. It's a system that empowers you to become more energy independent. There are best use cases, including those interested in off-grid systems for each type of system. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss our upcoming video where we discuss the differences between these inverters to help you choose which inverter may be right for you. However, as far as ROI, what does all this mean? As we look deeper into the financial aspects of solar energy, let's first consider the advancements in technology and market trends. Over the last decade, photovoltaic PV module efficiencies have improved, now reaching an average of between 20 and 21% conversion of sunlight to usable energy, which is up from around 15% in recent years. High efficiency modules also means reduced labor and material costs because more power can be produced with less panels. But the most striking change has been in the cost of solar components a tenfold decrease in PV system prices, PV modules, hardware, and inverter cost. This is driven foremost by an 85% reduction in module prices. A decade ago, modules alone cost about $2.50 per watt. Now, an entire utility scale PV system can be around $1 per watt and dropping. Similarly, lithium ion battery prices have plummeted by around 97% since 1991. The massive drop in cost is due to increased production and technological innovations, making these batteries more affordable and efficient. This becomes evident as we think of technical innovations making batteries not only more cost effective, but also lighter and cheaper. Think about our mobile phones that we can't live without and their growing battery capacities, which somehow continue to get smaller and lighter. Did you know a battery with a capacity of just one kilowatt hour that cost $7,500 in 1991 was just $181 in 2018? That's 41 times less. What's promising is that prices are still falling steeply. Bloomberg NEF's annual battery price survey also noted another 14% drop in battery prices from 2022 to 2023 for lithium ion battery packs, bringing them down to a record low of $139 per kilowatt hour. The learning curve for lithium ion cells shows that prices fall by an average of 19% for every doubling of capacity, a trend that's expected to continue. While lithium based batteries like lithium ion have seen a general decrease in price, making them more accessible, 
It's the lithium iron phosphate batteries that are gaining prominence in solar energy systems. LIFEPO 4 batteries stand out due to their safety, stability, wide temperature range tolerance, and longer lifespan, all essential qualities for reliable solar storage. LIFEPO 4 technology is underscored by its cost effectiveness in solar applications. Recently, these batteries have become more affordable as well, now costing around $95 per kilowatt hour for cells and $130 per kilowatt hour for packs. LIFEPO 4 batteries not only offer an economical choice, but also enhance the efficiency and safety of solar energy systems. With such significant reductions in solar component cost, coupled with rising electricity rates, there's never been a better time to consider solar. Okay, now that you have some background information, let's get down to business. Imagine you're building a new home or upgrading your energy source. Traditionally, extending utility lines, especially in rural areas, incurs substantial expenses. But what if you could skip that and invest in a solar-powered energy storage system instead? This includes harnessing the power of the sun to power your home, while also utilizing the same power to charge your batteries for those times when solar is not sufficient, energy prices are higher, or when needed as a backup power system. This approach not only saves on initial utility setup costs, but also taps into immediate savings and tax credits, helping you become energy independent. Let's talk more about these energy storage systems, also known as ESS. These systems, which include battery solar panels and inverters, are crucial for maximizing your ROI, especially as times are changing. With our grid-tied systems in the past, net metering was the way to help offset our cost. Now, with net metering being phased out in many areas, batteries being the storage part of your system are now essential. In areas that are introducing NEM 3.0 regulations like California with 576 different export rates throughout the year, the tax credits are gained with the addition of batteries to your system. Under NEM 3, homeowners can earn substantially by exporting stored solar energy during peak demand with rates up to $3.32 per kilowatt hour but at other times are receiving just cents. The hybrid system will now give you the freedom to choose based on time of use. When electricity rates are low, you can use the grid to charge your batteries if needed. Then use batteries to power your loads when electricity rates are high. The more battery capacity, the less reliance on the grid, the faster the ROI. Every region has its unique energy challenges and regulations, but with solar, you're in control. By investing up front, similar to an insurance premium, you set the stage for enjoying significantly reduced energy costs for more than 20 years, aside from general maintenance expenses. To maximize your ROI, consider your home's energy usage, size of your system, and your local utility rates. Financial benefits are crucial, but don't forget the immediate advantages. The ability to choose when to generate and use your own electricity, reducing dependence on utility providers, the ability to provide backup power during outages, ensuring continuous power supply with battery storage. In most markets, homes equipped with solar energy systems see an increase in property value, also increasing ROI. It lessens your reliance on the grid, protecting you from fluctuating energy prices, potential shortages, and rolling blackouts. Solar energy systems are known for their durability and require minimal maintenance over their lifespan. So what does this mean financially for your return on investment? Let's break it down. We take your total system cost, subtract any tax credits and rebates. By the way, the residential clean energy credit offers a 30% deduction on your installation cost until 2032. Then we factor in your annual energy savings. The result? the number of years it takes for your solar system to pay off and start paying you back. That's not even factoring in the possibility of what you may be able to earn from the export capabilities from extra energy generation if still being allowed in your region. Here's an example. If your average monthly energy bill is $175 annually, that's $2,100 for the year. By producing 80% of your energy needs through solar, you can save $1,680 annually. At the time of this video, a 12 kilowatt hour hybrid kit can be found for around $15,500. With the 30% government tax credit, 
valid until 2033, your net investment is reduced to $10,850. Divide this by your annual energy savings to find your payback period, approximately six and a half years. With components typically warranted for at least 10 years and known to last over 20 years, your savings extend well beyond the payback period. Remember, investing in solar isn't just about immediate savings. It's about long-term financial benefits. As energy costs rise, yours will be decreasing. If you're eager to calculate your specific ROI or need guidance on going solar, visit us at SignatureSolar.com. Our team is ready to help you with your solar journey, whether you're aiming for complete energy independence or just looking to reduce your energy bills. Investing in solar is a step towards energy independence and wise financial planning. Solar energy is a versatile and viable solution for everyone, regardless of where you live. So, what are you waiting for? I'm Kelly with Signature Solar, where we believe that solar is for everyone. For more insights into solar energy, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you next time.